This is the Nokia Lumia 1020 disassembly video. For disassembling, you need the Nokia Standard Toolkit version 2. You will also need the SIM door key. The power must be off during the disassembly procedure. Protect the display with protective film. Release the SIM tray with the SIM door key. Pull the SIM tray out. Unscrew the Torx Plus size 4 locking rail screw. Open the screw 8 full turns. Use the SRT6 to detach the display. Be careful not to damage any components or the flexes underneath the display. Release the left side of the device by sliding the SRT6 as shown. Carefully lift the left side of the display to gain access to the connectors. Use the SS93 to open the battery connector. Be careful not to damage the connector or any nearby components. The opening order of the connectors is mandatory to minimize the risk of battery current short circuits. Use the SS93 to open the second camera flex connector. Be careful not to damage the connector or any nearby components. Use the SS93 to open the display connector. Be careful not to damage the connector or any nearby components. The display can now be separated. Start releasing the second camera assembly with the SS93 from the shown place. Detach the sensor by lifting it with the SS93 as shown. Remove the second camera assembly with tweezers. Use tweezers to detach the second camera gasket. Use the SS93 to release one corner of the CPU heat spreader tape. Use tweezers to peel off the CPU heat spreader tape. Do not use it again. Discard it. Use the SS93 to release the CPU heat spreader pad. Use tweezers to remove the CPU heat spreader pad. Use the SS93 to open the USB connector. Be careful not to damage the connector or any nearby components. Unscrew this Torx Plus Size 6 screw. Unscrew the two Torx Plus Size 5 screws in the order shown. Do not use them again. Discard them. Use the dental tool to release the snaps holding the battery holder. Be careful not to injure yourself with the sharp end of the dental tool. Use tweezers to remove the battery holder. Open the camera connector with the SS93. Be careful not to damage the connector or any nearby components. 
use tweezers to lift the camera. The surface on the back of the camera is very thin ceramic. To avoid damaging it do not touch or push the back of the camera. Protect the camera lens with protective film. Use tweezers to remove the camera thermal gasket. Use tweezers to detach the locking rail. Do not use it again. Discard it. Use the SS93 to open the side key flex connector. Be careful not to damage the connector or any nearby components. Unscrew the four Torx plus size 6 screws in the order shown. Do not use them again. Discard them. Unscrew this Torx plus size 5 screw. Do not use it again. Discard it. Insert the sharp end of the SS93 into the shown place and lever the engine board carefully out. Use your finger to support the USB flex while lifting the engine board. Be careful not to damage any springs on the engine board, the USB flex or the side key flex while lifting the engine board. Lift up the bottom end of the engine board first. Remove the engine board. Use the SS93 to open the AV assembly connector. Be careful not to damage the connector or any nearby components. Use tweezers to remove the AV assembly. Release the earpiece with the dental tool. Remove the earpiece with tweezers. Detach the earpiece gasket with a dental tool. Do not reuse it. Discard it. Detach the AV frame grounding foam with tweezers. Do not use it again. Discard it. Remove the second camera grounding pad with tweezers. Do not use it again. Discard it. Use the SS93 to push out the label tray. Push from the shown clip to release the label tray completely. Remove the label tray. Use the SS93 to release and lift the battery. Remove the battery. Unscrew the four Torx plus size four screws in the order shown. Lift the body assembly to separate the camera deco. Use the SS93 to lever out the Xenon flash. Release one corner of the flash adhesive with the dental tool. Use tweezers to peel the adhesive off. The adhesive cannot be used again. Discard it. Detach the USB gasket with tweezers. Detach the battery gasket with tweezers.
The Nokia Lumia 1020 disassembly procedure is now complete.